guess you can go ahead and do number five as well. <laughs> all right, so for all right, so for number four in one acre, in one acre we got three hundred ninety-three point nine four pounds, but we had one point seven five acres, so that total comes out to be six hundred and eighty-nine point four pounds of thirty-three double O twelve F. You want me? Okay. Our soil test recommended that we needed 130 pounds of nitrogen per acre. And using in one pound of 33-00-12-S, there are 0 0.33 pounds of nitrogen. comes out to be someone got someone got a calculator <coughs> did, did y'all come up with 393.94 at that point mm -hmm. okay so this is and so I guess kind of the reason why I set this up is because some of us might get a little turning in our stomach and remember chemistry class they call this stoichiometry you know remember that <coughs> saw some eyes roll you can cancel those units and so we know that we need 393.94 pounds of 33012S per one acre. Now, we'll come down here. I'm just going to do fertilizer in one acre. And we know that we have 1.75 acres per field. So when we do that math, acres cancel and we have 689.4 pounds of fertilizer, which is this Per field. If y'all are math whizzes and you can just 
do that math straight through. I'm okay with that. I like to see your units. They're important because if for some reason you get them flip flopped, you know, they say show your credit, you know, show your work so I can give you some credit. If you just go 130 divided by 0.43 times 1.75 and you get the wrong answer, I can't give you any credit on that. I don't, know, I don't know where you got it mixed up at. But if you show me where you did your work, I can go, you know what? They just forgot here. I might be able to give you a half of a point. Oh, they used K2O instead of the P205. Like I can, I can see where you might have made the mistake and I can go, hey, this is where you should have done this here. You should have done that there and you improve from that. You don't put any units, I have no clue what you did. I probably do, but to get us in the habit. Do you get it back there? That, 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 that makes more sense now? Everyone else kind of seeing how we did that? Okay. And so then for number five, I got for one acre worth of um, for one acre's worth I got 206.52 pounds per acre and I have less than an acre I have 0.69 acres so I just multiplied that number times 0.69 if you can do that all the way through and you can make sure you show me where you did the math I'll be okay with that so then I just multiplied 206.52 times 0.69 and came up with 142.5 pounds per acre Price is 0.79. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, but you had 142, right? No, because we had a different amount of acres. Did I do that wrong again? It's twice I did that. Okay, so 0.79, what did you come up with? 60 okay, I did this in my fertility class too. For some reason, 69 and 62, I wasn't looking at that. Whichever. Again, I'm human. I'm there. If you show me that math, if you show me the math, I can see where you just put the wrong number in. You might have just read it wrong. I can give you some credit for that. But if you don't put the numbers there and you got the wrong answer and I can't decipher where you may or may not have took a wrong turn in Albuquerque, then I can, I can give you some credit for that. All right. So now it looked like number six was something that was giving everyone a little head scratching. Which is just going to be the opposite of what we just did. We applied 395 pounds of 2015-25. For one acre. Now remember, this is N P205 K20. So this is 20, 15, 25. You've already applied the material. 20% of that 395 pounds is nitrogen. Rachel just looks super confused. I'm just like, I gotta realize that's that's her face, and then I got the light glaring too. How about it, Shanti? I can't see. Oh, you can't see it? Do I need to write it bigger? Sure.
Most of us are familiar with triple 13, right? Or triple 19, some sort of fertilizer. So in every bag, um, you will see a guaranteed analysis. And so that guaranteed analysis means that if this were a 100 pound bag, there would be 13 pounds of nitrogen in it. This is a percentage. There are 13 pounds of P2O5, and there are 13 pounds of K2O in a 100 pound bag. Is that making sense? It's just a percentage. So if you would multiply 100 times 0.13, and that's how I got 13 pounds. So all we're going to be doing here is multiplying and dividing. You just have to figure out which one we're multiplying and which one we're dividing. Okay? So for our first problem, you always, well, not always, for the most part, you're going to set your fertilizer problems up as rate over analysis. I'm going to specifically spoon feed them to you as rate over analysis to get that into your brains. Okay? If you're not good at math, you will be by the time we're done. So our first question, you'll get a soil test back. And it'll tell you that you need 175 pounds of nitrogen in one acre. And in one pound of 11520 fertilizer, there are 0 0.52 pounds. I'm sorry, there are 0 0.11 pounds of nitrogen. Just a percentage. And if you'll start out setting your problems up this way, you won't have that big of a deal when we go to figure out whether you're putting out pounds of nutrient or pounds of fertilizer. Typically, when I say how much, that's going to be what goes on top. And so if we multiply this straight across, we have 175 times 1, which is 175 pounds of N. And if we multiply straight across here, we have 0 0.1. And when we do that math, what do we come up with? Is it perfectly 1590? 0.9. <laughs> so 1590.9 pounds of 11.520. Our pounds of N are going to cancel here, and we're left with. Our units are 11.520, which is the fertilizer material, over our area. So rate over analysis. I kind of teach this a couple of different ways because um, I, when I was going through this, I've been doing fertilizer calculations since like 2007. Um, and turf grass fertilizer calculations, which are completely, they're on a different level. And I was like, how come the point is on bottom? I understood why. I understood why the 0.11 goes down here because they showed me and I just said yes sir and that's what I did. When I got to my master's, my PhD, I was like, but how do you get it on the bottom? Where does it come from? Well, because I got the 0.11 from the fertilizer. If this, if I were asking you for 175 pounds of P2O5, How many pounds of 11.52 O would I need? Zero. What goes on the bottom? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Zero point, there are 0 0.52 pounds of P2O5. Remember we had N P2O5 K2O. So it's just knowing which one I'm asking you and where to get the number from. 
Rachel, you got this really confused look. Okay. I got, I, I got this. I got the same one. <laughs> I got the same one, right? And so, what do we get here? We got someone with a calculator. I got a feeling you're going to be my <laughs> my mathematician. Three hundred thirty-six point five. So this would have been three hundred and thirty-six point five pounds of. Everyone kind of understand what I'm doing here? I'm going to need more of this fertilizer material because I don't have... Um, let's round it to the nearest two decimals. Okay, so you should typically have two decimals unless otherwise... I'll typically put that in the question. In, in the, like so... Um, what I'm doing is I'm setting you all up. We're going to be doing math kind of for the first couple of weeks just to get you comfortable with it because you're going to have calculation one that's going to have some fertilizers and some other calculations. In that, in that quiz, because you'll be able to take it multiple times, I'll tell you what you should and shouldn't be doing, like where to round up, when to round, okay? But typically, let's just go for two decimals. And listen, if your answer is not the exact same as mine, as long as it's pretty close, I understand you didn't, you, you just did the calculation straight through. So it's just rounding error. So don't freak out if your answer is not the same as the other person or mine, just as long as it's close. Everyone kind of understanding what's going on here. All right. Y'all go ahead and try number two. And number three. Just set it up the same way.
All right, for number two, I got 278.95 pounds of triple 19. For number four, I got 393.94 pounds of, oh, I'm sorry. For number three, I got 358.33 pounds of 0060. Got a lot of head nodding, right? So it's kind of some simple math. We're, we're in soils. We don't do a lot of, we don't do physics, calculus, uh, maybe a little bit of geometry, maybe. Um, we tend to keep it, I'm going to multiply and divide, and that's about the most, maybe add and subtract. Uh, it's about the most that we do. All right, what about number four? Uh, 689.4. 689.4. Y'all go ahead, that's fine. <laughs> I just work one ahead. Go ahead and try number four. Start out the same way. down here too. So if you can't see it, they can't see it. And so what do we get? How many? 79. So 79 pounds of nitrogen was applied. For P205. 59.25. How'd you get that? I multiplied the 0.15 pounds of P205 over one pound of 2015-25. So what she did was this. Clicking, kind of. And so then how many pounds of K2O do we apply? 90. 90. And we put 98. I'll go ahead and do number six. I'm going to tell you, just number six is where, like, this is the reason why this is important. You're going to do number six the exact same way. No. No, no, because I'm, because these are like each of the nutrients. And so, what this uh, triple three represents is like a poultry litter application. Anybody work with poultry litter? Smart. 
but you may hear some people talk about wanting to apply some organic material such as poultry litter and they're going to go apply one ton of poultry litter because they got chickens and they got to get rid of this manure source so pre-vet kind of goes into this too animal science we got five products that we're trying to utilize as well and I got this all recorded too so I'll post this online it sees the board a lot better than y'all do okay but the the problems are going to get set up the same way you just have to know when to put it on top and when to put it on bottom and don't worry I'm going to feed you enough of those that by the end of the semester you know which one's which All right, so we applied 90 pounds of nitrogen. We applied 180 pounds of P2O5, and we applied 90 pounds of K2O. The nitrogen and the K2O I'm okay with. I'm all right, those are, those make sense, right? That's probably what you would want to do. You got some manure, you're gonna catch up on some nitrogen, save you a little bit of time at the co, a little bit of money at the co-op. What I don't like is that you just applied 120 pounds of P2O5 that's not good there's too much of that that's what is causing the eutrophication in our waterways that's the reason why people are against poultry litter because that phosphorus is what's causing the problems in our waterways so we want to minimize you shouldn't be applying that much p2o5 so how this applied really was one of my um, professors at mississippi state he comes in and he's like yeah man i went out there and i applied 400 pounds of triple 13 and uh, another hundred and something pounds of some 1846 or whatever and I was like wait a minute you did what 
You just realize that you put like 100 pounds of P2O5 out for no reason, but he was trying to put nitrogen on his corn. So he ended up over applying that nutrient. That's where that would apply, okay? Um, I guess we'll do uh, 8 through 11 next week, all right? I think y'all did great. Everyone feel confident, comfortable. Anyone having some problems? You have problems? Ask me. I'm okay helping out. This gets you to your... Thank you. I know someone else. Who else had to go to the... Who else has the capstone? So, so I got three of y'all. Okay, that's cool. This will get you there on time. All right?